Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma Toys here and up for another little video and as per usual it's another little delivery. I have opened it just to check to make sure what it is but we shall get into it. Um, so yeah, so this is something I ordered from Facebook. Uh, where did I put my scissors? Oh, sorry, don't want to see that close to my face. Um, and yeah, this is one of those ones you keep looking out for, those deals on Facebook, and uh, we'll go down. There should be two bits, hopefully, which will help me to complete some things. So um, I have had a kind of a list, um, people who've followed the, my videos. Um, no, look, more if my target issue was to kind of complete stuff rather than start new lines. Now I have, uh, as you'll see from some videos, I have picked up the odd little bit from something new. Whether I go and complete that line or not is is entirely up to me and, and it just depends what I come across. As I say if I come across bargains I'll keep um keep it in mind. So there's loads of packaging we're getting down to it. So, yes. So what did I have sent me? So the first off is it this was ten pounds um all in Oh no no, hang on. it was five pound per item and postage. So I think it's about fourteen pound. Um, try and get my mouse right. So first we have um, a visionary character called Witherquick. So there he was. His hologram is fairly good. He's got V. He's got some letters written on it. I think someone's initials maybe. It said obviously there is some paint wear at the back, or someone's got him on it. Um, but overall, he isn't too bad at figure. But the main thing I wanted is this. So the cheapest I'd found one of these is probably about £12, 12 pounds on eBay. Um, so obviously, this is how this figure come. And this is my existing figure. So to be honest, this one is a, a little bit better in some places and a little bit better in other. I have a spare one of these as well in bits. Um, so you can see my one is, if I can get the camera, is a little bit dirty on the back side. Um, whereas his head, oh no, he's got some red marks on the back of his head as well. So if I can clear those red marks off, which I assume is some sort of crayon or that, um, this might be the better one to use. Obviously the, the holographs, holograms, I'd have to, maybe even this one is better. So maybe I might have to just convert this figure over. Um, Obviously, with a quick, uh, my one already has his uh, stuff. It's not the greatest version, but he, he's almost complete. It just means his weapon. So, with what I got, I can link these two together, swap bits out, and I'll more or less have almost a complete with a quick, except for his boomerang type weapon. So, that's good for the visionary, so I'm slowly moving across. The next thing I got is this. So, this is Darkstorm's weapon. So, Lucky enough, I have a dark storm. I have his, oh, I have his staff. His holograms are all right on both of them, so I now have a complete dark storm. So that's really good um, from that standpoint. So I'm happy to have a. Oh, maybe it goes in his other hand. This is the problem with these figures. The weapons aren't always the best. There we go. So there we go, he can hold his weapon and then his helmet will go on. Um, so it's a very interesting enough. So um, for people out there, obviously if you collect visionaries or you don't, um, they're like G.I. Joe, they're based off the of, of three, I think three and three quarter size for G.I. Joe figures. Uh, the main thing that um, has them, they have an elastic band that goes through a little, but it's a little low ring. You can buy spares and they normally fail. Now, I've had quite a few G, uh, visionaries for a I'll say three or four years. Um, when I went to pick this guy up to show, because I knew his weapon come, the seal that was holding his body had stretched and split and just degraded. So literally I picked him up and his torso come out of his pelvis. So that was a bit short. So just a little fact, if, if you into this line, it's quite easy. So if you, either side, you see these little tabs, if you grab hold of them and pull, you will pull off the face plate and you will see in there is a little Phillips, so that's a cross head um, screwdriver screw. If you take that off, that basically disassembles the whole body. Um, and then if you have a seal, you can find it. I mean, I got them from like a um, 
set on loads of different seals and I've redone a lot of my visionaries and I swap body parts out and stuff. It's very easy to do. The main thing is to check for this hole. So if someone's cross-threaded the hole then that causes a lot of problems. Um, otherwise, as you say, you just stick, obviously because the little clips there is intact, which isn't good, and then he just pops into this one. He's obviously his head's a little bit loose. But yeah, so I've more or less almost completed two more visionaries fully. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. And yeah, so that's really good for the collection. So I'm glad things are going quite well. I say it wasn't more or less. I got a, or I can get a better with a quick, just missing a weapon for the price of a weapon and stuff. They're normally like 10, 15 quid the bits on eBay. So I was quite fortunate when a person was selling five pound each on uh, Facebook. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and this little explanation of the visionary line. Do you collect visionaries? Uh, let me know in the down below. Um, I've got a mostly a complete line. My dagger assault is a missing a few bits and has a few broken bits and I don't have recon. So anybody do that, you know, maybe if you've got a cheap recon gun spare, I'd happily buy them off you. Otherwise, I've been Cypher Sigma Toys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, happy collecting out there. And I'll see you in the next one.